All right, dragonflies, here we are for another fun week of spelling. It's week number 28. Ant. Sorry, I don't think any of our spelling words this week are that short, but they all have A-N-T somewhere in them, mostly at the end. Okay, week number one, contestant. Come on down, the price is right. You are the next contestant. In the Dragonfly Spelling Weekly. Number two, defendant. The defendant is the person who has been accused of the crime and are trying to say they didn't do it. Hmm. Have you noticed? Both of these are people. Huh. Uh, number three, assistant. who is compliant is going to follow the rules. They're going to comply and do as they are asked. Comply. Hmm. Describing a person. Number five, applicant. Okay, don't write this part down. You might apply for a job and then that would make you the person applying for the job or the applicant. So we change the Y an I and add C-A-N-T. So the applicant, the person who is applying for the job. The person. Hmm. Could A-N-T turn a verb or an action word into a noun or a person, place, or thing? Huh. Let's try the next one. Propellant. propel your boat with some kind of a fuel. Um, they add an extra L here and it becomes the thing that you're going to use to propel your boat. Turns into a noun. Huh. Was a verb. Now it's a noun. Crazy. All right, just remember the two L's in propellant. Okay. Redundant. redundant is it's going over the same thing again and again and again. It's kind of um, useless repetition. Redundant. So if I said redundant again, that would be redundant. Number eight, hydrant. If you see the hydra part in a word, you know that it has to do with water. So a hydrant is the thing that you get water from. A noun. Hmm. Okay, next up, buoyant. Well, it couldn't last forever. Something that is buoyant is something that's going to float. Notice in buoyant, it's an O U. Kind of O. Let's try buoyant with the U before the O. All right, number 10, lubricant. If you lubricate your engine with oil, oil would be a lubricant, a noun. Number 11, extravagant. So 
show you. I'll notice the word extra hiding at the beginning here. So if you are extravagant, you're over the top. Um, I might like to eat an extravagant uh, strawberry sundae because it would have lots of stuff on top of it. Number 12, triumphant. They triumph, they win. Notice the PH for the F sound there. And the person can be triumphant if they are a winner. Our boys basketball team was triumphant this year. Oh, not a noun. That time it's an adjective, a word that's describing a noun. Oh, interesting. All right, number 13, accelerant. An accelerant is something that's going to speed something up or make it go faster or make it accelerate. So it's a thing that makes something go faster. Notice it's got the two C's. The first C says C because it's got a C after it. The second C says S because it's got an E after it. So if you're going to break the syllables, ac cel er -ent. Um, Gas would be an accelerant for fire. Number 14, participant. So participate would be the verb. Take off the eight, add on an ant, and all of a sudden it's gone from being an action, participating, to being a noun, somebody who's going to participate. Number 15, brilliant. The lights shone brilliantly. Now we've added the ly on the end, so now it's going to describe a verb, which is an adverb. Number 16, importantly. The mayor spoke importantly at the opening for the new park. L-Y, describing how he spoke. Number 17, tolerantly. If you're tolerant of something, um, you're accepting of them, you don't uh, fuss about if people are different in any way than you, they, have, they act differently or look differently, and that you're really tolerant. So if you're behaving tolerantly, then you're basically being really accepting of all of the people around you. Number 18, vacantly. Okay, something that's vacant is empty. So the students stared vacantly out the window because they were daydreaming. And it looked like there was nobody home inside. So, vacantly. Number 19, abundantly. Something that's abundant, there's lots of it. Uh, grass is abundant in our school field. Abundantly means they're behaving in a way that has lots of it. Um, so they could be something abundantly. What? That's a good question. Uh, they could be dancing abundantly. They just have too much dancing going on. All right, number 20, pleasantly. Okay, someone that's pleasant is really nice. Uh, so you could speak pleasantly and speak in a nice way to the people around you. And our bonus word for this week doesn't have ant at the end, it has it at the beginning. Can't. Oh, loop. I know sometimes we call it cantaloupe. I don't know why, it's got an O-U in there instead. Cantaloupe. All right, so dragonflies, there it is, your words for week number 28, ant. Practice hard.